How's everybody done? It is Monday, unfortunately. But Monday's getting close to being over. So then we'll be on to Tuesday. And then it'll be hump day. Before you know it, it'll be Friday again. So keep your hopes up, right? Mondays only last so long. Now, of course, if you work on the weekends, then you probably don't really give a crap of whether it's Monday or not. In fact, you're probably glad that it's Monday because then you probably means you get like Wednesday or Thursday off. Uh, so, you know, whatever, whatever it is, is, right? But I hope whatever it is, whether you got the day off, whether you're glad it's Monday, whether you think it sucks that it's Monday, I hope everybody had a good Monday. Uh, I had a short day, it was kind of rainy. So uh, hopefully it'll be uh, I'll be able to work in some of my uh, other work uh, the rest of the week. I've got in particular two two of our restaurants uh, that I need to do a little bit of landscaping to. Uh, so and actually, like our Troy location is really the only one we have. We, we have a total of well, we have a total of ten locations, but. The ones that I actually do the, the mowing and, and landscaping and stuff for um, are just the, the three Springfield ones, Miller Lane, and then Sydney and Troy. And out of all of them, Troy is really the only one where the grass is actually green and actually growing well. And I think today was actually the first time, it's kind of weird they were on like in the middle of the day, um, but they had sprinklers on. That's the first time I've seen them on, period. The other locations, I'm not even sure whether they ever came in actually, because uh, we actually have like a, a you know, irrigation service that comes out and, and turns them on, and uh, I'm not real sure whether they did or not. Um, I, they probably did, it's just that, you know, we've been so, overall we've been so dry, even with the rain we've gotten, we're still like way down on, on the amount of rainfall we normally have at this time of year. Um, and I think, you know, stuff's just drying out. Uh, but yeah, so Troy will be the one that I, I really need to take care of. But let's dive into these. I know you can't see them, they're kind of off camera. So I'll lift them up real quick. I got two boxes. The video was originally good, just going to be this bigger box, which is the Zobi Fright box. But then this yes, came today too. I recently, well, not recently, I mean, like last month or a month before, somewhere in there. Actually, one of them I think I ordered, pre-ordered like last month, and then the other one was like the month before. But this is from uh, Premier Collectibles. They specialize in um, signed books, in particular, normally like biographies or autobiographies. I've ordered two different ones. I ordered uh, Cassandra Peterson's, a.k.a. Elvira's um, autobiography. And I also ordered uh, Danny Trejo, his autobiography. I've um, always been a big fan of his. Um, not only is like, he's just a freaking badass. And, I mean, he looks like a badass. Um, but obviously, you know, in his life, he has been. You know, especially with the things that he's been through. Um, you know, he, I haven't read the autobiography, I would say this, this might be it here, which I'll be glad to, you know, hopefully find the time to dive into it. But, you know, he started out on kind of the wrong sides of things, you know, he, he bounced around a lot when he was younger, I believe, and uh, was involved in kind of some gangs, and, you know, obviously he did, he did some in prison time, I believe there was three, if I remember, a little part of an interview that I seen him doing about, about the book. Um, I believe he did stints in three different prisons. Um, and that's where he kind of refound, not only found God, but kind of refound himself and realized that, you know, he was the path he was on wasn't going to get him anywhere. He was either going to probably end up, I mean, I'm guessing, like I said, I haven't read the book, but I'm guessing, you know, from what I've heard, not, you know, with what he said, but also with other people that have been in that situation, you know, when they do turn themselves around, it's because they realize that, you know, I'm either going to end up dead or I'm going to spend the rest of my life 
behind bars if I don't clean myself up and and get on the right side of things. Uh, yeah, he did. And look at him now; he's a prolific actor. Uh, and one, like I said, one of my favorites. I, you know, I love, I love seeing when I see a movie and I see that Danny Trejo's in it, whether he's just like a, a small cameo part or whether he's like one of the main main people in it. I know that most like I'm going to enjoy that movie. Um, so, I don't know which book this is. Uh, I'm not real sure. I believe, uh, I'm thinking it's Danny Trejo because I know they just did the actual live signing with him um, like a few weeks ago. Um, which, of course, while I was at work, I didn't get to actually log in and, and kind of watch uh, the live signing. Um, but I don't know when they were going to be doing the one with Elvira, so it could be either one. Whichever case, I'll be happy to have either one of them. Not only for the autograph, I've actually already got uh, Cassandra Peterson Elvira's autograph because I met her at a horror hound convention um, a number of years ago. Wonderful woman, just wonderful, and. I mean, I don't know exactly how old she is now, but regardless, I mean, she, she still looks pretty amazing, right? Especially when she's, you know, when I actually met her, she wasn't in Elvira costume. It was just her. And still very, very attractive weight. Um, but, you know, especially when she's all in her Elvira costume. Whew. Yeah. Man, they really glue these things, let me tell you. You don't have to worry about this packaging coming undone. Gosh. What did they use on this? It's like webbing. Spider-Man freaking sealing their boxes. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Like webbing. All right, well, let's dive in. I'll probably actually, I might actually keep this box because I actually have a few box or a few books that I've gotten from Cemetery Dance Publications in like grab bags and stuff before that I have multiple copies of, and I have a, actually a couple of them. They're signed books. I have a couple of them. Listed for sale on my uh, my Mercari. So J R Y M M A N is my username on Mercari. Also on Poshmark, I have all kinds of stuff on on Mercari, and obviously a lot of uh, brand name apparel um, on Poshmark that I get from uh, liquidations and and big box store like overstocks and stuff. So especially ladies, you know. Fortunately. Well, not unfortunately. I mean, it's good for for women, obviously, but you know, for us guys, because I was always hoping, you know, when I get get boxes, if it's got some men's clothes in it, I might find something that I actually want to keep for myself. Um, you know, I have gotten a couple of men's boxes, which was nice, but most of the time, when you get when you get liquidations and overstock from stores, it's women's clothes. So. Looking for some brand name stuff at well below retail price? Check me out on Poshmark. All right, and I was right. It is Danny Trejo. My life of crime, redemption, and Hollywood. It's Danny Trejo with don't. I'm gonna butcher this name, so I'm not even gonna try to say it. Right there, D Don Donald. I'm assuming that's Donald. Like Logue, something like that. Probably well. Of course, there is the certificate of authenticity signed by Dwayne Ward, who is the CEO of Premier Collectibles. And then there is Dan Trey's signature. He's actually got a really nice signature. I mean, he, he don't sign, doesn't look like he signs like every every letter. Or if he does it, he does it so tight that you can't, can't really see it. But you can still make out you know, that it's his signature. So. 
and this is like a a uh, a printed a printed sheet that's then adhered to the uh, the signature page. So, which means that you know they print all the books up, and then instead, probably instead of having a big stack of books there that he has to go through and sign, he he signs the the sheets that they have printed up specifically for the books, and then they put the books in. I mean, put the sheets in the books. And then put the books in the box, you know. You know what I mean. But yeah, here we go. Um, I would assume that they probably, besides the ones that are ordered, they probably have so many of these, like, done up, so they're still available. So if you're a fan of Danny Trejo, I would all leave a link below to Premier Collectibles. Um, go check them out. They do all kinds of uh, signings with um, main celebrities, autobiographies, but I think they also do other uh, like like fiction, works of fiction and stuff that are done by authors that are signed by the authors. Um, I actually got a, uh, can't remember which, which book it was. Um, can't remember in the name of the book. But it was one of uh, David Duchovny's works of fiction, one of his novels um, that I got from Premier Collectibles that's signed by David Duchovny, which is really cool because I'm a big X-Files fan. Uh, Alright, so that was that. Now let's move on to the Fright. So this is Zobie. Again, I'll leave a link below to Zobie. It's shopzobie.com. They are, again, an autograph kind of a company. They specialize in um, doing um, autograph signings, um, in-person autograph signings with celebrities. They book them, and then you can uh, either send something in by a certain you know, deadline to get signed, or you can choose something that they're going to have their own hand, you know, like 8 by 10s um, that you can get signed by that celebrity. Um, I would assume their business has, has kind of boomed, you know, over the last year and a half because there hasn't been anywhere you can actually go in and meet celebrities in person. Now, you know, conventions are starting up again, but, you know, there's going to be some celebrities that don't really do the convention scene, but that will do autograph signings with a company like Zobie. So, that's kind of cool. Um, the other thing they do is their V shouts, and that is kind of an add-on to the autograph, um, where you can pay the extra or, or you know a, a higher price, and they'll actually send you like a little. Um, well, I guess it's kind of like a live well a live stream, but you know like the, the recording of the live stream of when that celebrity was signing and actually they do a shout out to you personally while they're signing you know either the photo or you send them like a Funko Pop or you know whatever it is you get kind of so you get kind of that little I mean it's one sided obviously because it's just the celebrity talking to the camera um, instead of you personally there but you still get kind of that interaction of where you're you know the celebrities saying something to you personally when they're they're signing their autograph to whatever it is you want. Um, but the other thing they do, obviously, is mystery boxes. They have a, a, a number of core boxes. Um, they, they're like their, their pop culture one, and um, obviously this one, the Fright Pack. And I think they got one or two other ones that are every other month. Um, so, like, I believe this one is the one for July. So the next one won't be up for pre-order until like the middle of August. And then it'll actually, you'll actually get it in September. Um, they also have a few that they do um, not on a regular basis, but every so often they put them out. Uh, one, if you watch some of my other videos, I get the Zobi Ghost Metal one. Um, I always try to get that one. Um, ever since I got the, the, I didn't get the first one I did, but the first one I got, ever since then, whenever they bring it out, I, I try to get it, because um, I love metal. Um, they also have a wrestling one, that's that's what's called wrestling, um, for you know professional wrestling, so if you're a big professional wrestling fan, 
that's one you probably want to check out. Um, but again, yeah, check out the link below, shopthemovie.com. Let's dive in. This is obviously going to be all horror oriented. Um, I don't remember what the franchises are. Yeah, big surprise there. But why not? Nice tissue paper. That's a big. That's a big chunk of tissue paper. Yeah. That'll come in handy when I when I get some orders through my Poshmark. All right, these boxes always come with a an exclusive T-shirt you can only get through the that Zobie box. So here you go. Show you first. We've got from the top of the world, K and B Radio with Stevie Wayne, Radio 1340, Antonio Bay, California. So obviously this is from one of my favorite movies, The Fog. Absolutely love the movie. I I, I love the, the original with Adrian Barbeau and, uh, and um, Tom Atkins in it. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. I, I did like the remake too. But I don't know, maybe it's because I'm older or whatever, but I, I I still like the original better. And yeah, part of that is because Adrian Barbeau. I mean, actually, I was lucky enough to meet her at a uh, convention, too. Actually, it might have been the same convention. Actually, I think it was. I think it was the same convention I, I met uh, Elvira at. They had Adrian Barbeau. And, yeah, she still looked amazing, too. But, yeah, I really like that shirt. That's that's an A plus right there. I'll definitely be wearing that. Maybe not on a real hot day. It is black. Alright, let's see. It should have there should be a pin in here. Yep. I'm not real sure what this is from. This is an artist edition collectible lapel pin. Says looking for some action. Not real sure. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank on that one. I know when I see like, like what it is, I'm gonna be oh yeah. But it says it's numbered out of 250. So let's check the back of it here. See if I can maybe maybe I can just pull one of these off and see. And I'm gonna have to take both of them off to actually see what number I got out of 250. I got a, oh no, I got three, three fifty. It's out of 350. What is it? 250. Oh no, it's 350. I just can't read. Small print. Getting old. Yeah. So there we go. I got number 152 out of 350. And I think they normally do have a. I can't remember whether Zobie's the one that they, they actually have. Crap. They have a, a separate pin that's like um, a smaller print run. Or whether they actually have just like a variant of this. Sometimes they do like this and then they'll have like a black and white one or something that's, you know, they only do a hundred of or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure Zobie does that. They do have variants of stuff in their boxes. But yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. That's not jogging my memory of what that's from. But it's still you know, a nice pin. As you can see, I, I keep all my pins. Alright. So it looks like we've got... we got two autographs in here. Oh, and I guess I should tell you, I believe this box is, this is the standard, or not, well, standard, I mean, this is the, like, every other month, regular size Fright Box. So it was $60. But I believe they also now have, like, a smaller Fright Box that is an actual subscription every month. Or maybe it's every other month too, but it's a, it's a smaller box. I think it only comes with one autograph, but it's a subscription. So, you know, you sign up and then it just, you get it when it comes every time you don't have to go on and buy them all separately. Um, 
and I want to say it's like 40 bucks or something like that. It'll, it'll tell you on the website. All right, so here we go. They are JSA authenticated. Here we go. Shopping Mall. Good movie. I believe I have that on DVD. Where shopping costs you an arm and a leg. And whoever signed it, they played Allison. Can't make out the first name. The second name looks like Mari, maybe, or something like that. Mallory. That's kind of cool. It's just like the, like a small, uh, you know, eight by ten of the, like the movie poster. So that's kind of cool. And it's I like how there's I mean there's enough room here too where you could if there were other people going to be at conventions that were in this movie you could get more people to sign it and they still have room you know along the black on the edges. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm really running out of room to put put autographs up though so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do I might just have to start like keeping them keeping them someplace else and then next we've got yellow one this was in this is a 11 by 14 not sure which way is which okay obviously okay this is right one. and let's say we got scream so obviously that's just like a still shot from the movie of a ghost face there. I can't really make out the the autograph for that. Okay, it starts with a C. Yeah, no. I'm not sure. Yeah, I definitely don't have room to put these up, but I I keep them. I'll keep them. I might eventually, you know, find some place to to do it. I mean, I don't know where. All right. So for the spoilers, they don't actually put like a cheat sheet in. They put this. So I'll scan it here in a second. Welcome to the Zobie family. Whether it's your first box or one home order, I want to personally thank you for support. I created Zobie for fans of every fandom. I created Zobie for you. With every new idea, every new product, every new experience, we have you. The fan in mind, we are committed to collectibles, committed to autographs, committed to customer service. So thank you again. I hope you love this box. Continue to grow your collection with us with Zobie. Stay blessed. And it's signed by J.R. Galagos. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And he is the president of Zobie Productions. A.K.A. ShopZobie.com. So let me bring up my camera here. And we will. Oh. Well, it didn't work. Okay, there we go. Hit the wrong spot. Alright. Here are spoilers for Zobie Fright, Director's Cut for July 2021. Your 11 by 14 photo was hand signed by Chris Durand as Ghostface in the film Scream 2. Okay, so that's from Scream 2. Looks like they had four different ones that you could get. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see them on here. I mean, you can't. Can, I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of wish I would have got this one here that has like all the cast at the bottom of it. Um, but, yeah, that's alright. Chris Reynolds for stunt work on Halloween H. 20, 20 years later, Scream 2, Demolition Man, Armageddon, and Captain America, The Winter Soldier. James Spence authentication was included with every photo. The hologram is located on the front. It includes the matching certificate card. You can verify the authenticity by visiting JSA's website and 
inputting the unique card number. And then they had the chopping mall. Your 8x10 photo was hand signed by Kelly Maroney. No, well, it started with an M. I, I was close on that. As Allison Parks in the film Chopping Mall from 1986. And it looks like they had at three different ones. They had two different versions of like the little movie poster. And then they had one that had obviously her and one of the other characters in it. He, they both all look all bloody on that. Kelly Maroney appeared in the films Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Night of the Comet, that's not a good movie, Chopping Mall, and also appeared on television in the soap operas Ryan's Hope and One Life to Live. Of course, James Spence authentication. Your graphic tee features a Zobie exclusive design inspired by The Fog from 1980. The design was created by Benjamin Lawrence, so props out to Benjamin Lawrence. Cool design. Fog tells the story of a strange glowing fog that sweeps over a small coastal town in California, bringing with it the vengeful ghosts of mariners who were killed in a shipwreck there 100 years before. If you haven't seen the fog, do yourself a favor and watch it. All right, in the pen, which I didn't have anything about. Uh, oh, it looks like there was two, yeah, two parts to the pen. Whether it'll zoom. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, you have the, the like the head part, and then you have the uh, the boobages part, um, where they're like disconnected from each other. Uh, looks like they were both out of 350, though, maybe. Your oversized collectible enamel pin showcases one of two designs featuring Frank Frankenhooker. Why didn't I recognize that? Man. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's probably been 15, 20 years since I watched that movie. All right, featuring Frank Hooker from 1990. Both designs were created by Corey Kaufman. Check out Corey Kaufman. Absolutely amazing. He does a lot of pins for not only Zoe, but I think he, he does do some of the... Uh, Occasionally does some. Uh, normally, they I think they have Brian Romero do a lot of the pins for Bam Box, but I want to say Corey Kaufman might have done a couple of of these. If not, or maybe Corey Kaufman did some of the uh, a couple of the T-shirt designs they've had in the Bam Box. I'm not sure. I could be wrong on it. But uh, yeah, very talented artist. Both pins are limited to 350. Are you a completionist? Join the hunt. Find both pins. Frank and Hooker follows a New Jersey mad doctor, James Lawrence. I actually met him at a, a, a Cinema Wasteland convention. Who rebuilds his girlfriend, Patty Mullen, with body parts from exploded hookers. Yeah. Yeah, one of those movies. It's actually pretty good, though. I hope you enjoyed this month's Zobie Fright Director's Cut. And I did. I did. I liked everything in it. I can't believe I didn't recognize the pin, though. But, in my defense, it has been a while. Um, yeah, overall, definitely worth, I think it's definitely worth the, uh, you know, the 60 bucks. Because, I mean, you figure, 11 by 14. You know, most of the time, if you go to a convention and you get an 8x10 signed, minimum you're going to pay for just about any celebrity, even like a voice actor or something like that, is going to be bare minimum of like 20 bucks. Um, you know, maybe if, if you go to some smaller, if you go to some smaller convention, maybe where they only have like one or two celebrities and... You know, not not to insult celebrities or something, but say like they're more like a B actor. You know, they they do a lot of like direct to video movies and stuff like that. You, you might be out at maybe like fifteen, but in general, you're gonna pay at least twenty dollars. Normally, for most celebrities, you're looking at thirty or forty bucks, average. And then of course, higher end celebrities. I mean, you can get up over a hundred bucks. 
I mean, especially for something this size, guaranteed. You're gonna you're gonna pay quite a bit for it. So I mean, it's a very good possibility. That this right here, if you were to go to a convention and try to get this size photo signed, you'd basically be paying what you pay for this box. So let's just we'll just put a base of forty dollars on that on that one. Here, eight by ten. Again, a minimum of twenty. I would guess it'd probably be more like thirty, is what she probably charges to get an eight by ten sign. All right, so right there, seventy bucks. The pin. These pins, you know, especially for collectors. This pin, I mean, I don't know what value they put on it um, as far as when they put it in the box. I would guess 10 or 15 bucks. To collectors, though, if you wanted to go back out and resell these pins, you could probably get 15, 20, maybe even 25 or 30, depending on the pin. I know I've had a couple of duplicate pins I've gotten in a BAM box. Um, that I turned around and sold, and yeah, I sold them for like 15 bucks a piece. Uh, so, we'll say 10 bucks on it. So, there we're up to 80 dollars. The t shirt, no question, easily that's easy 20 dollars minimum if you're gonna buy this shirt someplace. All right, so you know, you're looking at what 100 bucks. And I think that's right around what they, they kind of, they say the, the value of this box normally is. It's right around $100 is, is the value you're getting for the $60 you, you pay. Um, so if you're a fan of horror, again, go to shopzobie.com. Check out what they have to offer. Keep your eyes peeled. Sign up so that you, uh, you know, you're aware of stuff they have coming and, um, you know, if you're like me, I make a habit of, uh, you know, about once every two weeks, I jump on their website and see what boxes they have and which ones are up for pre-order. I normally try to get this. I normally try to get the Zoobie Goes Metal, and I've been trying to get the uh, the pop culture one um, each time, too. Um, so, I'll probably log on here in a little bit and see what they got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably will. But that's it. Hey, everybody, I know it's a little longer video, about a half hour. You know, if you're watching, if you watch to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, I try to do videos whenever possible. I work a lot of hours. I don't get stuff coming in the mail on like a daily basis like a lot of other YouTubers do. Um, shout out to Franchise Kicks. He's one of the big ones that I follow and watch. Um, you know, if you're looking for somebody that that has something, uh, you know, every day, um, by all means, check out Franchise Kicks and uh, uh, subscribe to him too. Um, but yeah, subscribe to me. I, I'd appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, you can give it a thumbs down. You know, it all it all adds into the algorithm uh, of YouTube. Um, of course, I'd prefer a thumbs up. Um, outside of that, hey, stay safe, stay healthy. Especially now, the weather's, the, I mean, the weather's nice. We're in the middle of summer. Concerts are starting back up. Festivals are starting back up. You know, we're, we're kind of getting into where we're really free to go out and start living life again, right? So make sure you stay healthy. And look out for yourself and everyone around you. Well, do our part, the world's a much better place. And concerts are starting back up. Yeah. I've got nine of them lined up already. Nine. And uh, I just saw, so for anybody around in the Troy, Ohio area, I just saw, they literally, I think they just posted it today. Hobart Arena is going to have Pat Benatar and Neil... Geraldo, I believe is his last name. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Pat Benatar. So, I'm probably going to get a ticket for that, because I would like to go see Pat Benatar. Um, so, 
that'll be number 10. And I'm still planning on getting tickets for Rob Zombie. I know my daughter wants to go. I'll have to check with her and see if her, her fiance. Yeah. Big news for me, for, for just Driver Schmo here, my beautiful daughter Brooke, uh, her bro boyfriend Jared, great guy, very, very happy with her choice in him. He's a, he's a class act. Um, he popped the question, of course, she said yes, and I'm give, give him props. He actually came to me first, asked for my permission and my blessing, and showed me the ring. So, you know, that says a lot. So, I'll have to find out if he wants to go too. If not, then uh, uh, me and my daughter are probably going to go see Rob Zombie. Uh, all right, that's it. I'm rambling on up. Everybody, take it easy. See ya.